so welcome next day in Frankfurt uh, mask prepared already and uh, I got a new update for the p50 pocket that allows us to do a little bit more on the front screen when it comes to recording videos or taking photos so what I can do now is double tap the screen and it should go to the ultra wide angle which is pretty cool and awesome and I think this is super super awesome for vlogging I would say I'm using the internal microphones as you might hear and it's a bit of a quiet uh, kind of uh, area now or quite a kind of time where I'm walking here um, and yeah what do you think about the quality um, 1080p 60 frames per second ultra wide angle and I can go with a double tap also to the normal uh, 40 megapixel camera what do you think about this how's the vlogging quality of this one here 1080p 60 frames per second uh, I think it is awesome for vlogging So let's take a look at the daylight photos I took in Frankfurt, some of them here. You can see this is taken with the main lens. I think the highlight is the main lens and the ultra wide angle is also pretty good. You can see high dynamic range is nice. Uh, the sharpness is nice, no issues there. But as soon as you zoom in too much, you can see it's getting a bit blurry. And the same issue you have when you go into two times or five times zoom, which is basically a crop on the main sensor. The ultra wide angle, you can see the hotel I was staying in and uh, yeah, on the edge you can see it's getting a bit softer there distortion is a bit there you can see this guy look, looks a bit distorted but in general it is good nice and sharp in the middle and high dynamic range is also pretty good on par also with the colors of the true chroma sensor the main sensor here taken out of the f uh, hotel f uh, window also pretty nice you can see the pattern on the hotel window itself and uh, yeah this is the shot that i showed you yesterday uh, in, at night and now at daylight, you can see the Commerzbank tower there. Uh, it's a bit of uh, high dynamic range is working, but it's a bit of unsharp when I zoom in too much here. Uh, here you can see the circle. And here you can see a selfie taken with the uh, 10 megapixel internal selfie or front screen selfie. And it's working nice as well, as you can see. Of course, sharpness is not, I think sharpness is there. And high dynamic range is also working great here in this case. Um, this taken not a macro shot but with the main lens uh, you can get close enough and you can see the details here on this little bottle is really mind-blowing so I think the main lens is really really good in that regard so you don't need really the uh, macro lens for this uh, directly shooting into the sun from the hotel window you can see the dirt on the hotel window but you can see also the dynamic range is pretty good and awesome here again this little traffic circle and which is there as well with the ultra wide angle Pretty nice. Main lens here, also nice and sharp. And you can see it's getting a bit unsharp if I zoom in too much, which is basically two times crop. But two times crop is still possible. No issues with this. Then I switched location a few hundred kilometers away. I went to Marburg, a small university city that has like some nice features. And here's one of them. Uh, it's the hotel area, basically, or the Rosengarten area, Rosenstraße, which is here. You can see even Rosenpark Cafe. And nice and sharp with the main lens. This is the ultra wide angle and I wanted to photograph this to show you the details that you can see. You can read the names of the people there for this event hall which is like uh, next level 2025 uh, just together manage the future together or create the future together would be the translation of this one here. And uh, it was getting night time then and you can guess what was happening then. That nice little lights here uh, turning on and uh, then I went to here's a map of Marburg by the way I uh, was staying there where the red dot is you can see it's a bit unsharp here taken with the ultra wide angle I think and this main lens and uh, yeah this is the whole Marburg area the main city is located here but it also has a, a so-called Oberstadt which is like basically an upper level uh, which is the which takes or which holds the medieval town of uh, Marburg which is pretty nice and in the night I had to take some shots here because it's so 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 nice you can see uh, what, what you can eat here, cake, uh, crepe, uh, coffee shop, uh, salads, burger and so on, pizza. Everything is here, ice, ice creams, uh, cake, coffee. So pretty nice medieval town, medieval city here, the city hall, the old city hall uh, with a clock tower. A clock and there's a bell I think as well and yeah pretty nice and sharp taken in night mode with the main lens 
and here the two times zoom is also nice and sharp and crispy still so two times zoom you can still use on the p50 pocket without any issue but as soon as you go to the five times zoom this is now five times zoom it's getting a bit more soft as you can see here but it is still good for yeah objects just like those more abstract objects like here the batman symbol and this is a nice comic uh, book shop in a medieval city i also never saw that you can see they have anime and manga as well here books and so on so looks pretty cool and awesome what's the shop called cannot really read it here kitsch and und kunst which kitsch and art uh, the rest i cannot read so just the uh, font was a bit weird. This is a nice church here, as you can see. has the entrance here, which is also interesting. It's going down a little bit. And there's another entrance here, which goes up a little bit. So, interesting church. They had like this high seats here. And I think they had um, some books with some pages of the Bible there, because near the church. And that's the other side of the church, taken with the ultra wide angle. You can see it's a bit darker, the ultra wide angle, but with night mode, it still can kick off some good photos and you can see this uh, art uh, painting here hanging on the wall also pretty nicely ultra wide angle again nice resolved uh, it was a it was not so bright there so it's lifting up the the shadows definitely you can still read stuff here it's good it's a good ultra wide angle this was a selfie taken with the inner or front uh, camera which is a little blurry as you can see here so it's not what i was expecting i took a video as well not talking there in the video but here you can see me walking around you can see also take a look at the back here and the lights at the background you can see they are not disturbing they're not like distorted so it's pretty good ultra wide angle too dark for <laughs> this recording here and the main lens is good and the stabilization is good there as well then there was a cat on the way you can see took this with the main lens zoom in a little bit it's super super sharp it's cool so it's a nice little shot here this is the selfie in the clamshell mode so basically with the main cameras i see myself on the little one inch screen and take the shot you can see nice and sharp you can see all my pimples and stuff and by the way i have a new hairstyle yes and uh, then we had to go up the stairs it was very steep but i don't think you can see much here it was a bit too dark here also for the main camera to show anything um, and uh, up the stairs there was a nice little uh, castle and here you can see the castle for some reason they put like a big shoe here and uh, yeah there you can see the castle also big nice uh, with the ultra wide angle taken with the ultra wide angle this with the main lens this is i think some kind of pumping system so if you press the button here uh, water will come out because it's winter time right now there's no water but <laughs> in general it looks pretty fine i'm not sure if, if this is a dog if it's a pig or it should be a dragon or something you can tell me in the comment what you think about what this is this is a castle again taken with the main uh, with the ultra wide angle you can see it is a bit blurry here and there detail level is not 100 percent but the exposure is pretty good and here i went up this way to take some nice shots uh, overall views of marble itself you can see how nice it looks here this one is taken without the night mode you can see nice well, not everything sharp but it's nice uh, looking and this is taken with the night mode on i'm not sure if this is really an improvement you don't see much of a difference here night mode on night mode off maybe a little bit brighter with night mode on but that's everything so what do you think about those cameras on the p50 pocket i think the main and the ultra wide are pretty good i think the ultra wide even better than the p50 pros the main camera is pretty good not as good as the p50 pros however and uh, zoom in two times is okay it's a crop on the main sensor as if you go to five times zoom it's becoming a little bit too blurry so would only use it in emergency situations and uh, when it comes uh, to zoom lens of course the p50 pro beats the p50 pocket here nevertheless but the p50 pocket is pretty good and awesome for uh, vlogging and selfies because you have the outer display one inch and you have the possibility to go to the ultra wide angle take nice little videos Video shots uh, plug in your microphone have a nice little compact camera system with you perfect for vlogging i would say so this might be the contender for vlogging smartphone of the year 2022 so we have to see if there's some better one but this is definitely taking better photos than the uh, samsung z flip 3 where i, sh uh, where I at least um, looked at some photos and more details here better nighttime photography definitely what do you think about this camera system on the p50 pocket write it on the comment section that's everything for this video hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching until the next time bye